so today's musings is hard about um, careful what you wish for because you might get it so this is inspired by um, a number of um, manifestation gurus that I see posting on uh, YouTube a lot and with a lot of followers and um, they have hundreds upon hundreds of use this technique, use this pool, use this technique, use the water technique, use the 55 technique, use the 33 technique, use the 369 technique, use the fuck off technique. So that humors me because um, each video gets hundreds of um, thousands of uh, views. So everyone, including the person making the video, because it's clear that the person it's um, not it's not deceiving them. It's what they're applying. Um, and as I said before, this is a, a, a huge, huge industry um, with um, everybody trying to take control of their reality. And like I said before, the only person I heard saying something different is the guy from Mind Valley. Of course, he's selling all, all the courses of everyone that's giving all these techniques. He's selling as many courses as obviously his business needs to sell. So he's promoting them, but he said himself, he's at the stage now where he lets manifestation choose itself. So basically he lets the universe bring forth. He's so into the flow that he lets it all happen in the hand of the universe. And he doesn't ask, he wants no more. He doesn't ask anymore. He doesn't um, use this technique and the other technique. Uh, to manifest anything, he just entrusts it all to the universe. And the ones that don't do that, so they ask for a bunch of money. So let's say one of the manifestations techniques they finally use gives them that money, so or, or a part of it. What they didn't account for, it's all the side effects that come with that money. So how they're going to have to spend their time differently, how they're going to have to figure out a number of things that came with that money. Or they ask for a very successful business, not keeping into account that a very successful business will imply that their time is going to be used differently. So they're unaware of what they like to do with their time and they get their wish and then their wish bitch slaps them and then they have to do a new wish. And what they find is once they use a technique and they have a, a bit of success one time or tw twice with it, the third time the technique has no more energy on it. Because you're literally um, trying to manipulate the universe, you're literally um, trying to flex, you're flexing with the universe. And that gives you a little bit just enough to encourage you but there's everything that works once or twice is just to um, take you to question further and it, it, it wants to take you to your enlightening not necessarily to your uh, production uh, line production line type, type manifestation so <clears throat> many things won't work all the time and when they do, they come with side effects. It's pretty much like I mentioned this before, like the movie Bedazzled. Where, yeah, the guy, um, uh, Brandon, gosh, what was his name? Um, <coughs> he got his wish, but it was always with some bullshit attached. Until he um, understood what it was all about. So, there is absolutely, oh, and then there is those who say, oh, I don't know exactly, just let me wish for 10 million or 1 million or whatever, it's a huge amount for them. And then once I get this wish, then I'll, I'll figure out what to do with it. Um, 
if everyone would just embrace first of all you have no idea what's for your highest good um, you have your asks from a place of absolute blindness to who and what you are and um, the order of the Bible is thou shall not want and really sit and contemplate why is that asked why is that said what is that ordered in um, one of the spiritual books thou shall not want um, it's such a tricky subject and it's so much bigger than the the next five minutes that I've got left because I don't want to make my videos more than five, um, ten minutes or so and I'm already at six minutes so um, I'm gonna let everyone just muse on what I said and I'm gonna continue with more information in another video yeah be careful what you wish for because it may just happen and it may not make you happy yeah because this is where I started from so this woman wanted uh, a very successful business a very very successful business so she got the successful business then she realized she had, she had no time a successful business meant it took her had all her time yeah she was working from home yeah she was whatever but she she had zero time for her family or zero peace zero mental peace uh, before she was pissed off on her nine to five job but now with a successful business she was busy 24 7 so um she got her wish but then she had to change her wish and then she asked for freedom freedom and time freedom and time freedom and time freedom and time <laughs> boom came corona <laughs> i think it cut a little bit of so um, be careful what you wish for, <laughs> it may just happen.